Welcome back to another episode of Pedantic Raver Plays, the indie game Asteria by Legend Studios. And, uh, as you can probably tell, in the la- Oh my god! Oh my god, that's hurting me! That hurt me bad. So that's some kind of reflective guy. Oh no, it's actually firing at me! Okay, so I will leave that alone for now. Uh, anyway, while you guys were gone, I, uh, I dug, dug left a little bit, and... It looks like I found coal and a little uh, dungeon of some such. So I thought I'd start recording and we'll get back into this. It was pretty cool that uh, you guys joined me right apparently as I was about to commit suicide by attacking something that I had no business attacking. So <laughs> uh, thanks, good timing on your part. You guys get all the credit for that. I'm not even going to be held responsible. And we are going to go see... Ooh. A workbench! Free workbench! There is just a workbench buried in this mountain. And hopefully these uh, these crabs drop some of that delicious, delicious essence, the energy. Well, we got a mercury cell. We need some of this energy to do stuff. All right. We got a workbench. Let's see what we can make. Woo! We can make a little more light orbs. Red light orbs. Uh, don't know why we need that. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll find out at some point. Mercury Arc Rectifier. Tier 6, six component for things. A detector. Uh, a component for all sorts of things. An ectoplasm core. Another component for all sorts of things. I wish that didn't cut off the side of the screen, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, nuke reactor. Milling machine. Sign. Energy cell. Heals me for 40 energy. Oh, a mechanical firefly that provides light. That would be handy. Uh, I want that. So to make this, I need an ectoplasm core, which I can create. I need steel 15, and I need a steel superconductor. And... Uh, do I make this here? I don't see a steel superconductor as something I can make on my crafting bench unless I'm blind. I don't know where I can make that. Okay, well let's see. Let's see if we can make a forge while we're here. Let's 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 do some crafting. Let's explore that. So let's make a furnace. Uh, we just need one for because we found some coal. So let's make a... Oh, excellent. Here's my friends. So let's place... Uh, can we make it here? Is this ground not level? Why can't I play... Alright. So let's try to dig out a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, make a little bit of room for our furnace. Who did we find here? That sodium. Okay, we're not worried about sodium. Right, let's dig out a bit. Get rid of that inventory interface. Right, let's see. Let's see if we can. Yes! Oh, and it's lit! How exciting! Alright, so here we can make iron. Steel! Yes! All sorts of stuff gold, copper, silver, things. Let's make some iron. We have iron, or let's make all of the, let's make all of it. Make it happen. Oh, it's just instant. Oh, excellent. Let's make some, uh, we need coal and iron to make steel. How much can we make? We can make 46. So now that we have more steel, let's see what else we can make in a workbench. A milling machine. Oh, that meant, yes. I think we need one of these. So... We, uh, we've already got a field effect transistor that I guess we picked up somewhere from probably a crab. And it's going to take up 10 iron. Great. Let's make one. Cool. So let's dig out a little farther. This is going to be kind of our temporary base down here in the mountain. I don't know if that's a good idea. But that's okay because there's a portal right next to it. And hopefully we can um, just kind of find this place relatively easily. I'm sure I'll never find it again. But why not? Why not? Let's keep going. Actually, there's iron here, so before I place it, let's pick up this iron. I love iron. And steel. And 
And, uh, yes. And sodium. Not sure what I need sodium for yet, but... What is this? Oh, just, just a thing for the workbench. Okay, milling machine is go. And it glows green. Excellent. So, I want... I already have a mining tool. I have a... What do I have? I've got an iron mining tool, and I've got an iron blaster. So, what do we need? We need an ectoplasm core, which we can build. Alright, so the steel superconductor. Can I... Can I make that in the milling machine? I don't see it. Do you guys see it? Am I missing something? Alright, so furnace. No. Workbench. Yo! Alright. Chemical... We're making chemical-based components. Nuke reactor. Ugh. Man. I don't know. Where do, where do I get this, uh... Where do I get the superconductor? Because I want to make some iron or steel tools. Let's go ahead and make some steel. Like uh, all of it, all of the steel. We just made all of the steel. So what can we make now? We can make a steel suit. Oh, cool. A dematerial. Ooh. Use on placeables to return them to your hypercube. Can also be used for precision mining. Will shift to break walls. Cool. Steel blaster. Ooh. We can make a new blaster, and we'll need 10 steel for that, or we can make, I think we can make, we can make both these things. So let's make a steel suit and a steel blaster. Do that? Yes. Equip it. Uh, ooh, yeah, okay, so suit goes here. Cool. And then let's make a blaster. Create. Yes! Steel blaster needs to go replace my iron blaster. And we can just throw that back in our inventory. So let's see what this guy looks like. Oh, it's steely. Um, <laughs> it might as well make a dematerializer because we've already got the stuff. And then we can dematerialize this furnace wor free workbench that we found. And uh, let's see how that works. Oh! Yes! Excellent! So we can we can transport stuff. Beautiful. Let's uh let's we're kinda low on energy, so let's take out some of these crabs. Oh no! I'm gonna die! Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just made a terrible mistake. So let's kill these crabs, boost up on energy a bit. And then uh take that portal. Maybe one of these guys will drop a superconductor. I hope, maybe? Whoa, where'd you come from? We actually have more energy. Is that from the steel suit that we're wearing? I think so. So it's not necessarily uh, damage reduction. Let's see if we can pop off at these guys. Er, die! That didn't... Ah, killed it. And you don't fire, you're just... I just can't damage you? Is that what's up? What did you guys drop? Just ectoplasm? Apparently I'm not strong. Can I mine you? What do I need to do? Can I charge up? Yes! Beautiful. Alright, let's take this portal. See where it takes us. Go on an adventure. Wait a minute. I can dematerialize things, can't I? Yes! <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, hold on. Yes! Onward! Through the portal. Let's go! Ooh. Placing materials, mining, and dematerializing are disabled on this map. Materials of tier 1 and above are indestructible on this map. So, you're saying I can't mine. So this is just a pure adventure of killing. I think... Yes. I can't mine anything. Guys, we're on an adventure. Let's go. 
what's in here? We got some iron ore and a light orb. Beautiful. Field effect transistor. Excellent. Don't know what that does. Hopefully it'll help us craft some awesome goodies. Got some more ectoplasm. Always helpful. Always handy. Blue crystal. I already looted that, right? Yeah. Who's this guy? Who are you? Are you a threat to me? No, not really. Made me freak out, though. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to have to hop over those things. So that's cool. Every so often, we can take a... Wait a minute. One up. I have lives? Oh, cool. Alright, so... It I kind of want to reach that. Because... Uh, oh, wait. Maybe I can just hop up there and get it? Yes! Got some steel and some light orbs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah. Crab tagged me. This guy again. Alright, no. We're good. We're good. I wonder if we're... Uh, since we made that... Woo! Somebody's firing at us. That was just a war of attrition. It's alright, you drop some energy and we've got some more steel. Another light orb. Oh. No! No, I missed that jump. Oh no. Oh. Crap. Damn. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you... Oh my goodness. Wow! Ah! Sniper! Gosh! Oh! Guys, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dead! I didn't see that crab! Okay, we're okay. This kind of means we got another chance to try to get that, uh, that chest I totally missed out on before. Looks like I don't, don't lose all my stuff. So, I guess UHC mode isn't on. Already looted that. It just kind of looks like things respawn so quickly that I have to, you know, don't assume things are safe when I'm running away. No assumptions should be made here. Heavens no. Alright, alright, we're... Ah. Apparently I've got some kind of gravitational field that attracts stuff to me. And every so often, I can... Ooh. I don't really want to get into these kind of... Oh! My charged up shot fire a little farther. And his shot? I hope so. He's running away. A little, little sissy pansy person. I guess I can't really blame him since I ran away last time we fought. Oh, maybe I can take the high road. Oh, we found a portal. Oh, shit. Listen here, dude. I'm just gonna come in here and murder you with a charged up blast. Oh. Tricky to navigate. What's this thing? Waypoint. Activate to set your spawn point. Well, I should have gone this way, huh? Guess I should have, could have, would have. Didn't. Uh, wait a minute. Ah! Heavens! Okay. Up here. I know there's a chest here that I want to investigate. Wasn't there? Okay, I'm just going to plop down a light orb. Oh, beautiful. Right. F you, sir! Where's that chest? Where? Okay, I want to go back down. I want to kill that thing that tried to eat me before. Maybe I can find something handy dandy in a chest along the way? Alright, now, to the right, or to the left rather, that was where that monstrous beast was. I think. Oh! light. Excellent. So it's pretty much a battle of who can click faster. I'm kind of okay with that. Alright, so pop down the little light orb. Grab that energy charge up. Fire! Fire. Ah, he's not... Ooh! Alright, he's firing back now. So what I'm doing is just kind of charging up and trying to Ah, just bum rush him! Oh, he dropped us some energy? Well, maybe this, uh, this chest is worth it. Ooh. Got 
find some cool stuff. No, that's fine. Did he respawn already? No, there's just a blue guy that spawned back here. Come into my field of fire. Yes! You are mine! I have destroyed your face! <laughs> Alright, let's continue to the right. Get these mantis critters. Hopefully we'll find some more crabs to, uh... Oh, he drops two energy cells. I like it. Let's plop down a light orb. Keep on going. Getting all sorts. So. Did you guys hear that? I just heard something growl. And, uh... Kind of worried. Where did that growl come from? Did you hear it? What's that? I wonder if it's in there. Yeah, let's go. Oh, what's up there? Let's investigate up. Flying thing! Gotta charge up for it? No? Not even a charge shot damages it? Oh. Boss! Where's this boss? Oh, music is playing. Hopefully you guys can hear me over it. Scooch closer to the mic, just in case. Alright. Uh, uh, Alright. Seems like I've moved away from the boss. So that was just kind of like a boss preview that just freaked me out. Alright. Oh! Place that orb just at the right second. Uh, I bet that's the way to get to the boss. Let's check out what's in that what's in that chest. Hopefully some goodies that'll help me on this upcoming battle. Whew. Guys, I got I'm pretty nervous about that boss fight. An energy cell and some steel. And I don't think I can craft anything down here, because it said something along the lines of I can't place uh, crafting stuff. I think. I think that's what it said. So that energy. Yeah. Okay. Ectoplasm. Wonderful. Delicious. If that guy fires things, he's got some kind of weapon. Let's get him! Nice. Ooh, a red crystal. What's in here? A rift creator. The hell? What the hell is that? Makes a temporary rift that teleports you to your spawn location. Oh, okay, no big deal. Don't really need to care about that. Uh, okay, so we gotta backtrack all the way back somewhere. Ow! I landed on a crab. The crab bit me. Alright, so we're near the boss again. And I'm gonna assume I need to head up this away. There's a portal to escape. Okay, so let's keep going up. I don't know what's up with that guy. Place a light orb. Man, I'm kind of stressed about that boss. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so maybe I have to go up this way. <sighs> kind of getting low on energy. Hope hopefully some of these crabs drop some goodies for me. Alright, crab. Give me some energy. Thank you! It's like you heard me. What a good crab. I don't know what's up with these guys. Do they hurt? They just go tink, tink, tink when I fire at them. So maybe it's best to ignore them. So, whoop. Ow! What was that about? Is that acid? Can I place dirt? I've got 10,000 dirt. So, yes. Let's try that. No, I can't. Damn. Hey guys, sorry for the jump cut. Uh, <laughs> while I was sitting there staring at the uh, that acid pit, uh, my roommate decided to come home, and uh, a little tiny droplet of acid fell upon me and killed me. So... So now we're here. Anyway, let's continue on our adventure. Let's try to kill that boss. I think I'm going the right way. He should be approximately in this direction. Yes, I hear him growling. We're heading the right way. Going good. Alright. 
So here. Wait for this guy to pass. I don't really know what. I'm sure he hurts me. Could be up. Oh, there's that acid. I don't really want to get anywhere near that. Probably have to gonna go under. Oh, all right. Let's. Try. Oh no, acid pool. God. Damn it. Alright, so I don't know if this is some kind of armor or health check or what. Gosh. Let's rush through. Oh, no. Alright, cool. Looks like I've got two lives left. We might be finding out in this episode how uh, death works in this game. And I wonder if I'm missing something ridiculously simple. I, I sure I am. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I am, rather. Um, since all of these dungeons, from what I understand, are handmade. And, uh, shouldn't be... Oh, heavens. This guy's coming. Alright, let's rush through. Run, run, run! Oh, that wasn't... Well, I feel silly. Alright, time to get a little nervous. What is it? Oh, a save point. Okay, I'll take that. Alright. Getting pretty close to the boss, I imagine. Let's light that up. Nothing really to see. I bet. I bet you guys, as soon as I drop down here, we're going to have to face something big and scary. So let's charge up. And let's do this. Oh, no! Oh, no, it seeks! Oh, God! Alright. Well, let's hang out here for... Oh, man. Let's just keep firing. Keep firing. I'm glad it's uh, spawning these little crab monsters. Oh, the pain. Oh my goodness. Wait, can I shoot his bullets to block them? No, I can't. I just got lucky and they hit the ground. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Am I doing damage? Is anything happening? I need to get closer to you, boss monster. Yes. Alright, I think we found a, a reasonable... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's hide out back here for a little bit. Oh no! Well, let's see if his uh, <laughs> his health recharges, or if I have to. Oh, I can't see his health anymore. Not the best thing in the world going on here. Oh man! Oh golly! Oh no, no, we've got his uh, life bar down below a bit. Let's grab these uh, health buckets. Oh, touching him kills me, and it looks like he resets back up to 800. So heavens. Ooh, I've got an idea. Let's rush him and just plant all of our explosives. Let's do that. There we go. Hopefully that'll do something. Yes! Eat the explosions. Eat it. How's your health? What? That didn't do anything to him. Ah! Uh, am I even hitting him? Oh my goodness. And we're on our last life. I feel like I'm missing something. Do I have anything that could possibly help? I'm using my steel blaster. I wonder... Yeah, let's put this here so we can kind of maybe click faster. I feel like this this first boss shouldn't be... Oh no! What do you mean blah blah blah? Stop shooting at me when I'm not ready to fight! Ah! Let's just select it manually. Alright. Oh my gosh! <laughs> There you have it. First boss encounter in Asteria. Didn't do so well. Maybe I need to mine a little bit more. Uh, maybe I need to go up the tech tree a bit. Um, you know, my suit gives me a little bit more energy. Apparently it doesn't give me any defense. So, I don't know. Maybe I need to mine around a little bit more. Do a little bit more crafting. And then try to go after the guy. Apparently, uh, for every dungeon you defeat, you get to move up a tier in the, the crafting system. So I'm hoping that that uh, weird fire-breathing lizard guy that poops out crabs, <laughs> which I guess is, you know, preferable to having crabs, pooping them out? I don't know. Anyway, 
<laughs> That'll be all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you uh, in the next edition of Pedantic Raver Plays Asteria. Okay, bye!